What is happening, people? The day is finally here. I've got my competitive team ready, and we are about to dive into the world of Sword and Shield Wi-Fi. Um, so this is a team that I've been using on Showdown, and it's been working out pretty well for me. So I got these guys all battle ready, and we are going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, so for my first Wi-Fi battle, we're going to be playing against my boy, Roger's Base. And this should be fun. So we're going to go ahead and set a link code here. Um, neither of us really know what we're doing, to be honest. This is my first Wi-Fi battle. In this game, I got my first team ready to go, and I'm pretty damn excited about it. But we're going to set 4150, and then single battle. So we can see if we're going to find him. I'm excited to see what he brings. He he mentioned he's going to bring an interesting team. Um, there's not really been a lot established uh, in the competitive scene so far. So there's going to be a lot of new stuff, and hopefully, hopefully we can be good. All right, so we found him. So let's see how this goes. Uh, I'm confident in my team. You guys may know Roger's base. If not, you can check out his channel. I will have that linked in the description. Roger is my boy. All right. So we're going to set up some rules here. And I'll just decide myself. We're just going to go with whatever the standard rules are. Just single battle. Normal rules. All Pokemon set to level 50. Um, no restrictions, I guess. Would, yeah, we're going to do the set to level 50. Because not all my Pokemon are level 100. So let's get this money. He said he just finished EV training his team, and this is perfect. Not a lot of people have teams ready, but your boy is ready to start collecting wins. In this battle, the opposing player can see your Pokemon's nicknames. <laughs> perfect. Even better. All right. So participating team, we are going to grab just the party. So this is my first time seeing this whole interface. Um, we got some comp we got some uh, some offensive threats on this team, and I'm excited to see how they work. Also, I will be writing down his team just in case, and uh, we can also change it to random. All right, let's go ahead and get into our first Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle, boys. The first of many. I'm super excited about this. The last generation did get a little bit stale. But let's see, are we able to take a look at his team from the start? Check opponent, so we hit X. Uh, so he's going to be working with... Okay, he's got the Kingler, which I'm assuming is the uh, Gigantamax. So he's got the Kingler, the Corsola, which we do have trouble against. He's got the Rotom Heat. Uh, he's got the Darmanitan, a Staple, also the Dragapult. So we got two of the same, and then he also has an Abomasnow, which tells me he's going to be working with Hail. So the main thing that I'm worried about here is going to be probably the Corsola. Um, I don't have the best answers for that, but I'm going to expect him to probably potentially go run him heat. Let's lead off with uh, my emo boy here. I'm just going to lead off with that, uh, that Focus Ash lead. Always a good choice. And let us do it. So, the, Gig the Gigantamax Kingler might be a threat. That thing could be scary. I have not seen one of those <laughs> in a battle yet. So we do see our trainer cards. His is actually looking a whole lot cooler because I haven't really updated mine. But let's go ahead and jump right into it, boys. I got to find a way around that Corsola. It's something about this team uh, that doesn't do the best. So he's actually going to lead off with his Abomasnow. Um, and that is interesting because... We can either go right for an Iron Head here, or I could just get up my Stealth Rock. I don't see any um, Rapid Spinner or anything on his team. I don't think. It's going to be tough for us to get Rapid Spins off later, but I also don't think he even has... No, he doesn't even have a Stealth Rocker. Well, let's go ahead and set up the Rocks. It's going to be great against the Darmanitan and then also the Rotom Heat. We're just going to go right for the Rocks here. Interested to see what Young Marshmallow is going to do. We're going to save the Dynamax. And we do get that Stealth Rock up. So we get the Rocks up for free. Um, it's looking like Emo's pretty useful for his team as he just goes right for the Giga Drain. So it's not even going to do half, which is actually good news. The bad thing is, though, if I decide to go for the Iron Head here, we're going to get a decent amount of damage, but then he'll just get some, he'll get some health back if he decides to click that again. So we can go ahead and switch on this thing. I could potentially bring in the Senta Scorch. Um, Senta Scorch is not a bad option to bring on in on this. Also, Snowfu does do pretty well against this, but... I think we're going to bring in the Fruit Roll-Up. I think we got to bring in <laughs> the Scent of Scorch here. Assuming he's just going to click Giga Drain again. Um, I do believe we have a decent matchup against this thing. but So he does just go for the Giga Drain. So we're able to come in. We don't take much damage from that. Unfortunately, the hail is up. And that is scary. But we got in relatively safely. And now I'm trying to think about what his answers to this thing are. He can't Will-O-Wisp it with Corsola, which is great because we do have... Um, we have uh, flash fire so we can go ahead and I kind of just want to start setting up a coil here if I coil 
Um, I think we can take an attack from the Darmanitan. I think we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and coil up. And let's see. He's actually going to stay in. Does he have the Earthquake? Assuming this thing is going to be a mixed attacker. Um, we are faster, which is good to know. So we get that coil up. He's actually just going to Leech Seed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boys. The Santa Scorch is starting to do its thing. So the Leech Seed is unfortunate. We get hit by the Hail and then the Leech Seed. Uh, so that does really suck. His best switch into this is going to be the Rotom Heat. Um, but I could go ahead and just Dynamax here, which I think we're going to do. I'm going to Dynamax Fire, Fire Lash. Um, he can bring in the Kingler, but then that thing dies to a Power Whip. Uh, I think before we start racking up too much damage from the Hail and the Leech Seed, let's just go ahead and Dynamax and Max Flare. We got the Coil up. I think we're going to get the offense going, boys. Let's see if Santa Scorch can make something happen early on here. I, I honestly really love this thing. It's probably one of my favorite Pokemon in the new gen. Uh, I like its type. It has the item um, Heavy Duty Boots, which allows it to switch into Stealth Rocks without having to worry about uh, taking damage, because it would take half from that, which would suck. But, but them Heavy Duty Boots, you would have to have a lot of pairs of boots. But All right, so we just go right for the Max Flare here. And that Obama Snow is not going to like that, which he is actually going to be Focus Sash. So that is unfortunate. So we kind of have to waste another turn here. Um, the Fire Lash does set up the Sun, which is going to get rid of the Hail. Now he's going to go right for a Blizzard here, and we actually avoid it. So that is extremely unfort for the Marshmallow. Um, but we do get sat by the Lead Seed there. So this next attack does kill. And we're just going to go right for a Max Flare. There's no reason not to in the Sun. Max Flare is extremely, extremely nice. He's actually, he has Protect. Um, so the good news about Protect against a Dynamax Pokemon is that uh, we do get damage through the Protect. So this still should, should be able to knock this thing out. Yep, that's going to be a dead Abomas Nose. So we got that thing taken care of. We don't have to worry about Hail for the rest of the match. But the bad news is we only have one turn left on our Dynamax. So him having the Focus Sash there, it uh, could have been predicted seeing as it was a lead, but what are you going to do? So... Uh, we don't take Leech Seed damage on that turn. Is he assuming going to bring in the Darmana? No, he's actually going to go right into the Corsola. Uh, so the Corsola is annoying. This thing holds the Eviolite, and it is just extremely bulky. Um, and it is a problem. So we're just going to have to click Max Max Flare here. We only have one Coil up, which does concern me. But we're going to see how much this Max Flare does after a plus one boost. It's not going to be much. Oh, False Alarm. We are doing damage as now he sets up the rocks. So... Um, yeah, Corsola Stealth Rocker. I, I think I mentioned earlier that he didn't have a Stealth Rocker, but obviously Corsola is obvious. So uh, he's going to get that lead seed, which is on Fort, and we're going to sink back to regular size. So Super Deluxe Fruit Roll-Up is no longer, and the bad news is now he still has his Dynamax where we do not have ours. So um, I'm assuming this thing is probably... I think these things... Do these things recover? I'm just going to click Fire Lash again. With that coil... Yeah, so we're, we are able to outspeed... And that is going to knock that thing out. So the Cursed Body does uh, disable our Fire Lash. Which is a damn bummer. But we've got two knocked out. And Centipede is out here putting in work. So he's so far left he has the Kingler, the Rotom Heat, Darmanitan, and the Dragapult. Uh, he has a lot of switch ends here. He could bring in the Dragapult and probably just knock him out if it's a specially based one. Uh, but he's actually going to go Kingler. So uh, young Santa Monica is going to come in, and this thing is definitely going to Dynamax, and I am afraid of that. But we do have Power Whip. We'll be able to do a lot of damage with that Coil Up. I'm excited to see how much this does. Also, I, like I said, I haven't played against a Kingler yet, so this should definitely be interesting. We're kind of relying on hitting this Power Whip. If this thing starts setting up like Swords Dances or something, we're going to have a bad time. But he's actually just going to go for the Liquidation, and we are able to live it due to the fact that we got that Curse Up. So... The bulkiest centipede in all the land is actually able to hit the Power Whip as well. And that is going to be a dead Kingler. You cannot play games with Santa Scorch. This thing is a threat. Anytime you can set this thing up early and you see that they don't have a direct, uh, like, Choice Scarf Rock user, you can set up the Dynamax and after a, after a uh, freaking coil, this thing is a monster. So, um, he's now going to bring in the Rotom Heat. Doesn't get hurt by that Stealth Rock, which is nice. I'm honestly, ha like, surprised at how well we handled that Corsola. That thing has been always super annoying. But we're just going to go for a Fire Lash here, as I'm assuming. Oh, we're disabled, actually. Just kidding. False Alarm. We're going to Leech Life then. Get that get that stab. But he is probably just going to finish us off with, like, a T-Bolt here. As he's actually he going to get big on us. Okay. So he's going to decide to use the Dyna on... 
on the Rotom. So I think he probably should have should have clicked the Gigamax on uh, the Kingler. I'm thinking because that would have given it enough damage with the liquidation slot to be able to kill us. I was, I, I mean, I, I assume he thought he was going to be able to finish us off, and we actually going to activate that flash fire uh, because he tries to go for the fire move. So that's a misplay on his end. Not a lot of people expect Sentiscorge to have the flash fire. Uh, which is surprising. I mean, I've just used this thing a lot, so I'm familiar with it. It's it's really good to bring in against Rotom Heats. I've actually done really well against Rotom Heats because uh, they do tend to try to Will-O-Wisp on Excadrill leads and stuff like that, and we can switch in relatively easily. So um, we do burn a turn of Dynamax there. He is going to have to finish this off with a Max Lightning, Lightning, but yo, Fruit Roll-Up, the absolute MVP so far, and things are looking good. So he's going to set up that Electric Terrain with that. Um, now we get a free switch into whatever we want, and it's looking like we've done a decent amount of damage to this to be able to handle it. Um, so, we could go, I believe, with Excadrill. I think we could actually finish this thing with an Earthquake, since we have Mold Breaker able to hit through the Levitate. Um, I'm just worried about if we out... I'm, I think, I'm pretty sure we outspeed. Am I... Am I, uh... What am I working with here? I'm actually adamant. I don't even remember the calcs, to be honest. I think we just go Dutchman. Choice Specs Dutchman can just basically go for a Draco Meteor. And that is... It should be able to... Actually, no, this is a, this was a bad call. Probably should have gone Excadrill. I think this thing has way too much health left to be able to live a Draco. Hmm. What we could do is we could burn a Dynamax turn. I could just switch back directly into Troll here. He ha He's pretty much forced to go for a Shadow Ball um, or the Max Darkness or whatever it is. We can go into Troll and we can basically t burn a turn of this thing's Dynamax. So this meta is very interesting. This thing could be actually a Choice Scarf Rotom. We don't know. Um, when you Dynamax, you actually have the ability to switch your move, even if you have a Choice item, which is very interesting. He actually goes for the Max Lightning. Um, so... I guess that's just going to show us that he doesn't have the... That's oh, going to get a crit, too. That's a lot of damage. Troll will be taking it. So, we do effectively burn this man's Dynamax. And, all right. So, um, we could just go for the Sucker Punch here. If he decides to Will-O-Wisp, I doubt he will. I think he's going to try to just finish us off. Um, we can hopefully get a Sucker Punch off here, which is pretty obvious. But I think I'm just going to click Sucker Punch regardless. See if we can get Troll to connect on that as we do. And the Sucker Punch is going to take care of the Rotom Heat. So... The Grim Snarl is amazing in this meta as well. I've had a lot of good luck with this thing. It has the Prankster ability, which allows you to uh, basically just use bulk up immediately without having to worry about or, uh, you always get priority. So now he's going to bring in the Darmanitan. doesn't get hurt by the rocks. And we can just go ahead and Sucker Punch again as we die. Uh, we have an easy answer to this. His last two Pokemon are the Darm and the Dragapult. Um, I can go into Ditto after we get knocked out here. And then I can basically transform. Since we're Choice Scarfed, I'll be able to be faster. And um, then I can finish it out with a fire Flare Blitz, if, assuming he has that. So we're just going to Sucker Punch here. Unless this thing is some type of setup to Tarmanitan. No, he's just going to have to go for the attack. And, oh, the Sucker Punch is actually just going to knock this thing directly out. The Troll is a threat. So his last Pokemon being that Dragapult. Looks like we might even be able to finish it off with just the Sucker Punches. So Camilla comes in. And after that Stealth Rock, the Stealth Rock is, is definitely helping us out today. Let's go ahead and, I, I mean, I assume he can't do anything unless he's, like, substitute, which I doubt. We're just going to click Sucker Punch yet again. And, uh, yo. Troll, straight doing it to him. Finishing it up with the late game sweep. And that is going to be the final of my first, uh, my first Wi-Fi battle. So that was interesting. We got sent to Scorch to do a lot. And, uh, that was an interesting one. Well, we will receive this guy's league card, of course. Um, so, all right, so it turns out we're actually going to run it back, and this should make things a little bit more interesting because we both know each other's teams, and uh, let's go ahead and let's do it again, boys. So, we're going to set the link code to the same thing, and Santa Scorch was able to come through that time, but I doubt we're going to be able to win with the same strategy. So, let's go ahead and see how this happens. I'm probably going to have to, going to have to switch up the lead here. I'm trying to think about... His win condition is probably, I mean, if he plays that Corsola well, there's really, I don't have much. I mean, I have Specs, Shadow Ball on Dragapult, actually, which might not be bad. So, I think that's probably how we're going to have to handle that thing. 
Um, it doesn't have much offensive power, which is great. So he's going to decide the rules this time, I'm assuming. He's just going to hit it with the same. But if he can play his Dynamax better, we could be a little bit hacked here. But let's see. I actually deleted his team. Let's remember. Dragapult, Corsola, Kingler, Darm, Obama Snow. And what else did he have for me? All right. Of course, they can see my nicknames. I like how they warn you. All right. We didn't get to use the Ditto last time, but I'm thinking the Ditto is going to come through for us this time, boys. All right. Let the battle begin. I don't know why my guy's a police officer, to be honest. I really don't remember ever even setting that, but all right. Um, so, we are going to check the opponent. So, what did I forget there? It was the Rotom Heat. So the Rotom Heat's a little bit scary. I think if we lead Darmanitan, um, I'm assuming his is Choice Scarfed as well. I don't want to get myself into a speed tie with that thing. Um, so let's, let's actually, let's lead with the Snowfu, which is the best nickname ever. And I believe Blunder came up with that name, but I didn't know what to name my freaking, <laughs> or my freaking uh, snowman ass Darmanitan. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into it here. So let's see if he's going to stick with the same lead. We're going to have a great matchup. Even though we know it's focus sashed, we will be able to at least um, knock it down to its sash. And I don't think it has anything that can Oko Darmanitan. So let's see how this goes. He is actually going to lead off with his Dragapult. And this actually puts us in a decent position because Choice Scarf Darmanitan does outspeed this thing. I'm assuming he does know that it is... It is uh, going to be outsped, though. So I don't really want to go for the Ice School Crash. That just kind of leaves him open to bring in Corsola. I think that takes it relatively nicely. Um, his switch-ins to Darmanitan are pretty limited. I do want to make sure I conserve this thing. If this thing ends up being Scarf or something, we're going to have a bad time. But I'm just going to click U-turn here, expecting a switch. Um, not sure what he was expecting me to want to go for, but... Let's see what happens here. So we get the Choice Scarf U-Turn off, and hopefully we'll be able to get a matchup. If he decides to switch, um, we can get a chosen matchup, which is always nice. We could even start setting up. It looks like Troll has a great matchup against his team as well. Um, it can't do anything to the Dragapult. He is going to switch out, so we are able to get... Oh no, False Alarm. He's actually just getting huge on us. All right. Uh, so that's actually a good play. He's going to go ahead and use the Dynamax Turn 1. Um, the reason for that is potentially that allows it to be able to take an Ice School Crash, and that's what I went for. And very speedy Dragapult with the Dynamax is scary. So we get the U-turn off, uh, which still even does a decent amount. This thing with its built-in ability, Guerrilla Tactics, it basically gives it a built-in uh, choice band, which is insane. So I'm thinking Troll is probably our best answer here. We're going to bring in the Dark Fairy. We kind of hard countered this thing, which is interesting that he would go for the Dynamax here because... I don't think this thing has a whole lot it can hit us with. Max Flare is actually probably its best option. That's actually going to do a lot. Ooh, it does about half, and then it's also going to be able to set up the sun as well. So, um, in the sun, you get boosted damage from fire moves, and it's looking like that's going to be able to knock us out. Unless I use my Dynamax here, which I don't think I want to do. Um, as much as Troll is really useful, it's kind of taken too much damage at this point. We know he's going to stay in. We're kind of guaranteed to get a Sucker Punch off, which will do some solid damage. Um... Man, yeah, but that, that really does kind of suck. Being able to... Having him take that much damage is a bummer. We're just going to click Sucker Punch here. As we are going to be able to get this off. And it almost even knocks it out. Yo. Grimmsnarl is a monster. So he's going to finish us off. Actually, no, he doesn't. He goes for something other than the Max Flare, which is interesting. So maybe he expected to switch there. Um, totally did not think that. I was basically just ready to just go ahead and just Sucker Punch. Um, I... Doubt he'll want to switch out. Or actually, he might switch out here. Switching out is an interesting play. Um, the main reason is because you kind of waste your last turn of Dynamax. He knows he dies to a Sucker Punch, though. So he could easily switch and basically get a free switch in as we Sucker Punch. So you know what? What would his best answer be to bring in here? It would probably be um, something like the... I mean, something that doesn't want to take a Sucker Punch, which is really not much. I think if we just hit... We're just going to click Darkest Lari. We do have the... Uh, the black glasses on this thing so we get boosted damage from dark type so he is actually going to switch out and we made the right play here i didn't want to go for the sucker punch that dragapult is much too useful to just waste knowing i was going to sucker punch so we get the prediction correct and he is going to go right into the corsola which is amazing because now we get super effective dark damage 
And that is going to do over half. Hot damn, maybe. Maybe Corsola is not as freaking, not as bulky as I thought. Uh, but it does get that cursed body, which is a bummer. But um, the thing about this now is, yeah, so we can't use Darkest Lari. We can't Sucker Punch because he's likely going to go for like Stealth Rock or something. So I think if I decide to go into the young Flying Dutchman with his ghostly tail, we could probably bring this thing in safely. And I'm pretty sure a Specs Shadow Ball knocks this thing out. So let's switch this thing in. I'm assuming he's going to set up the Stealth Rock, uh, which would be a good play on his end. But the damage is unheard of. Alright, so we send this boy in. He's got his ghostly tail. He does set up the Stealth Rock. So we're able to switch this thing in before it takes Stealth Rock damage. And at this point, he does not have much that wants to switch into a Shadow Ball here. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And Galarian Corsola is likely going to go down here. It's a bummer that Corsola's new evolved form doesn't get as much, us much usage as regular Corsola does just because of the EV Light. Um, that is going to take it out, and that probably tells him that I am Choice Specs. Um, if he's familiar with his damage calcs, he probably knows that Shadow Ball... I, I don't know if I wasn't Specs. I don't think it would knock it out at that point, but... Because, I mean, seeing how much my Darkest Lariat did, it's probably specially defensive, but who knows. He now is able to bring in his Darmanitan, and this is a, an interesting play for us, because he could just go right for the Icicle Crash and kill us. Um, I have to kind of switch here, and I'm thinking my best option is probably just to go into the Grimmsnarl to die, that way I can get a free switch in after. But if he decides to go for the U-turn, um, you know, either way we're actually set up pretty nicely here, because if he goes for U-turn, he will be able to knock us out, and then he has to switch in his Pokemon first, which then allows us a matchup, but if he just knocks us out, uh, then we get a revenge switch in, and then Ditto is a great option for Darmanitan, so... Um, he is just actually going to go for the Ice Punch that will kill Grimmsnarl, but we did our thing. And uh, now that the Corsola is gone, we didn't really need that thing that much anyway. So, now we can bring in... We have some options. Um, I could go Emo. I know... Actually, no, he set up the Stealth Rock. Just kidding. So, I don't want to go into my own Scarf Darmanitan because I don't want to risk that speed tie. Um, so, I think if we go... If we go Ditto, I think we're set up here. He's locked into he's locked into um, the he's locked into Ice Punch himself, so he can't go for a Flare Blitz here unless for some reason he is not going to be choice. But there's really no reason to be using a non-choice Darmanitan. Actually, with the Gorilla Tactics, unless it's a Zen Mode one, this thing might be a Zen Mode. Oh, it's Belly Drum. Oh Lord, this thing isn't choice. Well, so that basically guarantees us that we know we're going to be able to outspeed with the Flare Blitz here. Um, he could bring in the Kingler, but even that thing really does not want to come in and take take a Flare Blitz. To be honest, Darmanitan is one of the hardest Pokemon to switch in, other than Dragovish. But <laughs> let's just go ahead and click the Flare Blitz here. Uh, Choice Scarf Ditto might be able to just take out the opposing Darmanitan, which it looks like it is going to be able to. Uh, so this man brought the Belly Drum Darm, and that could have been an absolute problem. But we have too many answers for that. You can't really build the team unless you have answers. Uh, for something faster than a, a non-choice Darm, so. Looks like we are fine here. And he can either... I think he's going to go... Yeah, he's going to bring in the... Okay, so he is going to bring in the... Um, Dragapult. This doesn't really matter. We can just basically click Flare Blitz here. We can even Dynamax. Um, so we're not able to click a different move. And that is because we are choiced into Flare Blitz. But, you know, for the sake of it, let's actually go ahead and hit the Dynamax button. We can go for the Max Hailstorm. And that is why Dynamax is pretty much broken. Well, there's arguments. People are saying that it should be banned. Other people are saying that it's fine. But either way, it is here, and it's likely going to be here to stay. So being able to switch choice moves is pretty damn insane. So we're going to make our Darmanitan huge. And it's looking like we've got a decent bit of momentum here. Um, Oh, he's actually faster because oh shit, that was a ter that was <laughs> that was a terrible play. Um, one thing to note, this is an interesting. I actually did not even know that. So my thoughts were, we were still able to get the speed boost from the choice scarf, but apparently it gets nullified because when you use life, when you have a life orb, you still take life orb damage. But apparently, when you cho your choice, well, that is good to know. Damn. Well, um, so this thing locks himself. Or actually, he goes for the Fire Blast. And we could go into Fruit Roll-Up. Which could... Does that mean that this thing is choice? I don't think it does, but... Let's bring back in the Fruit Roll-Up here. Um, 
We haven't seen a life orb or anything from this. Generally, I do feel like you do see specs Dragapult, but it's kind of a hit or miss. I don't know if this thing is... Hmm. Yeah, I, wa I completely wasted my Dynamax there. That was a bad play. He was able to outspeed us uh, because Dragapult is just naturally fast as shit anyway. So that was a misplay on my end. But it's bound to freaking happen. Uh, so he's, his switch in here is probably the Rotom Heat. Um, if he decides to switch, which I think he might. If he goes Rotom Heat, we are kind of in a bad spot. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and... Let's just click Fire Lash here as we're running down on the time. And he is actually going to switch, so the Rotom is probably going to come in. If not, it's going to be Kingler. Um, but it is going to be that damn Rotom, and since we don't have Stealth Rock up this battle, we're in sort of a bad position. But Fire Lash is able to do a decent amount of damage. We do drop its defense, which is great. Um, I actually like that a lot. We could... So he can't Dynamax. His best damage, I think, is just Thunderbolt. Um, I might even just stay in here and click Fire Lash again, unless Fruit Roll-Up is actually a good answer to his Dragapult. So, um, I think we got Emo here. We can... Yeah, let's let's switch into... Let's switch into Excadrill here. He's likely going to just Thunderbolt, so we can avoid that. Um, unfortunately, this damn Stealth Rock is up because it's going to get rid of our Sash. But we break the mold, and he's actually going to go for a Confuse Ray. Oh, Jesus, it's a Confuse Ray Rotom. Uh-oh. This is not good. Not good at all. Um, so, I think we just kind of force him to go for the Overheat here, or whatever he's kind of working with. If we just EQ... Yeah, let's just go ahead and click Earthquake here. We could Rapid Spin, but yeah, he's just going to go for the Overheat. So that is actually, unfortunately, going to knock us out. Down goes Emo. Man, that misplay on my Ditto, Ditto really, really messed me up. Um, but, he gets that special attack drop. And that means that Fruit Roll-Up is kind of open to just do the same thing we did last time. He has Dragapult, Kingler, Abomasnow, and Rotom Heat left. So, let's go into Fruit, Fruit Roll-Up. And, if we coil once, the next Fire Lash kills. Because we did get a defense drop on it. So, misplays on this battle have set me up for not the most success. <laughs> Let's go for a coil. At least I think we should be able to knock it out with the next Fire Lash. So he is going to Confuse Ray. And sweet Jesus, I hope the Confuse Ray doesn't destroy us here. Because that could be bad. If we end up hitting ourselves, we're going to be in a bad spot. We do hit ourselves. Damn it. We don't get the free coil up. And we actually hit ourselves quite a bit in Confusion too. Which is sad. But I think he's going to switch out here. And I think he's going to bring in the Kingler. If I click Power Whip and he does bring in that Kingler... We're going to have a great time. Let's go ahead and click Power Whip here. Uh, if he just stays in, that is a misplay. He is going to Volt Switch. Okay. All we need to do is not hit ourselves in confusion. Please, Fruit Roll Up, I'm begging you. He has to go Kingler. He can't bring in the Obama Snow. He can't bring in the Dragapult because that thing's going to die. So it kind of comes down to... Man, if I got Stealth Rock up, we would be in a way better situation. He's actually going to bring in the Dragapult. So we snap out of confusion, which is actually great. But And we do hit the Power Whip. Oh, sweet Jesus. It is going to actually knock that thing out. I really thought he was going to go Kingler, but he saw us go for the Power Whip last time. So it makes sense as to why he wouldn't want to bring that thing in. I would be afraid too. Santa Scorch is a threat. So he's down to three. He has Kingler, Obama Snow, and the Rotom Heat left. So now he's going to bring in Santa Monica. Um, this thing is going to be able to knock us out with the Liquidation. And there's just no way around that. So I think we have to just Power Whip here. I might even actually just leaf li Leech Life just for some guaranteed damage. I think that's probably a better play. Um, Liquidation is likely just going to knock us out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yep, down goes the Fruit Roll-Up. The second match has turned into much a, better, a much better match, though, so that's good. We always love to see that. Anyway, now we can bring in the Dutchman, I think. I don't know if Kingler has anything that can knock us out in one hit, unless he has potential, what, knockoff? So we're going to bring this thing in, and alright. So we have Darmanitan for the Obama Snow in the back. Darmanitan, Choice Scarf, can potentially knock out the rest of his team. But it just depends on what we lock ourselves into. So let's go ahead and just click, um, we're just going to click Draco Meteor here. Which I think is, is going to be great for us. There's nothing that wants to take a Draco Meteor. Luckily we do not miss. Choice Specs, Draco Meteor from a Dragapult is definitely going to be able to knock out the Kingler, so 
Down goes the Kingler. He is down to the Obama Snow and the Rotom Heat. So, um, if he goes Obama Snow, we could we could switch back into. Yeah, so he's gonna go Obama Snow. Um, we know that this thing is sashed though, which is the only damn problem, which is not good for us. We're gonna have to go into Darmanitan. It's looking like we might actually even catch a loss here. Hot damn. Let's go into the Snowfu. Um, he's probably just gonna Giga Drain, I assume. And yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go into the Snowfu. He's just gonna Giga Drain after Stealth Rock. I don't even know how much that does, but it's not gonna be good. If we can't knock this thing Sash out, we're gonna lose. He actually just goes for the blizzard. So he does connect. Um, Darmanitan is able to take that, which is fantastic. And now is when we are just going to... We're just going to click Flare Blitz here. It doesn't really matter. This thing is going to get knocked down to its Focus Sash. Uh, then it's going to kind of come down to Dragapult. So... Let's just go ahead and... What set is that? Is that Rotom though? That is the only issue. Yeah, we're just gonna click Flare Blitz here. It's really our only option. So Darmanitan gonna do his thing, and this Focus Sash has gotten me. Really, I should have just let Excadrill and gotten my damn Stealth Rock up. That would have really, would have really helped me out this match. So there's the Sash. Um, we just about knock ourselves out to the Recoil. He's gonna finish us with a Giga Drain, but now we can bring in Dragapult. And I believe clicking Shadow Ball sets us up for success. Why do I do not remember how much health the Rotom was sitting at, but I think we'll be good to bring in the Dutchman. Send out ye old ghostly tail. We've got ourselves our first intense <laughs> Wi-Fi battle. We are back in it, boys. So far, the 20-minute timer has not really been too much of an issue. So we are just going to go ahead and click Shadow Ball, and hopefully Specs Dragapult, and he's actually going to protect. So he's gonna get a little bit of that, a uh, little bit of that hail damage to stack up, which I don't think should be an issue. But if that Rotom is scarfed, uh, it should be able to outspeed and freaking kill us with, kill us with a Shadow Ball of its own, which is gonna be an issue. He's gonna protect again. Oh man, he's gonna rack up the freaking hail damage, which I really don't think matters. But I think we're actually getting pretty close to the 20-minute timer here. I'm not sure, why is there not, there's not any, there's not a graphic that even shows you how much time you have left. What the hell is that? Alright, so the Shadow Ball is going to take care of the Obama Snow. And all he's got left is that there Rotom. So, the hail actually stops. Thank you, back to normal. The Rotom Heat has definitely been prominent in this meta. So. We, all we can do is click Shadow Ball here, and all we can do is wait. So we do outspeed. And is Specs Dragapult able to do it for us? It sure is. <laughs> oh man, that was an intense battle. My god, I really played that one badly. Uh, that was actually an interesting dynamic due to the fact that we both kind of knew our teams and we knew our playstyles right from the start. Uh, he was able to definitely bring it back to a super close match there. That was, that was intense. I'm really glad that we decided to do that second one, but... Thank you, Rogers Base, for the battles, man. That was that was super close. Uh, shouts out to my boy. Uh, this guy makes some great videos. You should definitely hit his link in the channel or link in the description. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed. I'll definitely be coming at you guys with some more Wi-Fi battles uh, because I am enjoying that quite a bit. So, uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the Gen 8 meta. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm excited to get some new teams going. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.